हेलो फैशन लवर्स एंड वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल स्टील स्टा मोडा इफ़ यू फाइंड माय चैनल इंटरेस्टिंग एंड इन्फॉर्मेटिव प्लीज़ सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल लाइक द वीडियोस एंड प्लीज़ लीव द कमेंट्स इन द कमेंट बॉक्स रिगार्डिंग ईच एंड एवरी वीडियो योर व्यूज एंड योर फीडबैक्स इन टूडेज वीडियो विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट द टिल्टिड फिगर्स अ फिगर कैन बी टिल्ट ऑन टू एक्सेस दैट इज एक्स एक्सेस एंड वाई एक्सेस ऑल द vertical lines all the horizontal lines are set to be the x axis and all vertical lines are set to be the y axis so today we'll be learning about the x axis that means we'll be uh, tilting the horizontal lines in the figures so for that you need to understand that the figure uh, is tilted in such a way so that both the lines of held head will be parallel to each other shoulder and bust will be parallel to each other waist and hip will be parallel to each other and the tilt of hip line will decide ki what will be the posture of legs in a figure right so let's start today's topic so first i am tilting the face for tilting the face see like this otherwise we were taking the perpendicular lines but now we can take the diagonal lines so as per your requirement and the feasibility you can tilt the figure like see see fourth inch entirely that means 3/8 inch 3/8 inch on the both side but now you can observe that i am taking little bit diagonal lines i am tilting the figure on the horizontal lines that means x axis this is purely science term x axis are the horizontal lines and y axis are the vertical lines like this now see we have created the head but it is different from the simple block figure it is little bit tilted when you'll flash it you'll get the effect of a little bit tilt face towards its chin will be tilt towards the shoulder now i am tilting the shoulder shoulder can either be tilt in the same position or be tilted in the opposite position or you may keep the shoulders straight it's up to you but whatsoever will be the position of the shoulder the same will be the position of the apex or the bust line right here we have taken like this now again i am tilting the waist waist either be tilted in the same direction or the opposite or it may be the straight it's up to you it's de it depends upon the figure the posture now i am taking it opposite to give it more effect to make you understand right so we'll be joining it to the shoulder see now you can see the change or you can see the difference hips in the same direction as we have done with the waist as i told you and we'll be joining the hip to the waist as usual and now see you can see that a little bit curve is been added to the figure isn't it like this now this this is little bit lesser and this is little bit wider so this will add the curve on one side of the figure for the leg it all depends upon your taste but here i am making one leg straight and one wide open as in side view or this figure also can go with the walking style this will give the little bit 3d effect to your figure One fourth inch, and join it to the center line, and make the side view leg, side view foot. This is the straight front view, and this would be of side view. Either you can do it with free hand if you are frequent with, if you are not, you can measure. as we did in the side posture 
that was day 5 video I hope now for the hand up to you as what you like I am just making it it as leaning on some base and second hand a second arm I am putting at the back of the body like this see let's make one more idea here I am keeping the hip line on tilt same I have to do with the waist as per the rule keeping the shoulder straight and keeping the bust also straight as usual now you can even uh, use the twisted figures in this you can mix and match the views and you can give them the tilt it will add more gla gla glamour to your figure because fashion figures need to be very glamorous so that we are still working on the body shapes once you will be clear with the body shapes then you will be able to drape a good dress on that body right so that's why uh, this is a lengthy process till uh, uh, you can say three four more classes you will be requiring to make all these body shapes once you are okay or uh, once you are comfortable with these figures so you'll be able to make some good dresses on these because presentation is all depends upon how your figure your basic figure is prepared so then only you'll be able to drape a good dress on that see here I'm making this this is actually my favorite uh, posture of legs for fashion figures I used to make a lot of these uh, these uh, generally for the evening gowns and uh, for such dresses um, I used to use this particular posture very frequently of legs for hands I am keeping this arm or hand resting at hip very common style it is in the fashion figures and second I am making to touch the chin or the shoulder like this and make the hand see this so now this is all over you can make your own some good dresses and try some new figures and postures so thank you friends for watching this video and our next topic is tilt on y-axis till then bye and see you again